Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be sure to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of new videos coming out. So on Friday, we had the pen club meeting and people were just bringing their pens that they didn't want anymore, didn't write with anymore, or just weren't in love with them anymore. And so um, I had an opportunity to purchase a few really great pens. One was the Peniter Lipstick Avatar, which I'll show you in just a minute. And actually I can put the link below, that would be better, so I don't have to stop the video. And then this one is the Keras Custom. And I also purchased a red Metropolitan and also a Twisby Aluminum, which I don't have. So anyway, got a chance to get a few of these really interesting pens. I didn't have a Peniter either. So, and I love it by the way. So you can watch my video and take a look and see how wonderful that is. But today I wanted to show you this Keras Custom, which I hadn't even heard of it. Uh, beforehand and it is the claim to fame is that they're made right here in the United States they are made basically like with CNC machine equipment so they're machined they have this kind of raw industrial look to them and um, kind of with the bolts right here on the cap which is pretty cool and then this raw anodized aluminum cap as well. Don't know if that's not showing up. There we go. And really no other mar marking on this at all that shows, you know, what kind of a pen it is or anything like that. But they're supposed to have that kind of minimalist uh, industrial look to them. They do um, have a turn, so it's supposed to be 1.5 turn, but mine looks like two. It's two full turns. So on their website, they say it's one and a half turns, but nope, not at all. So uh, inside, what's really nice is this um, kind of, you can see the that they look good on the inside as well. So you can see the machining. And I, I like the industrial look. The bad thing is cannot cap it. So cannot post the cap. You can cap it, you cannot post it. So um, that's a problem for some, not for me. And then on the inside, if you take a look, can you take a look? There we go. All right, so on the inside, um, this is a pretty undersized nib. It's a size five, uh, five yes. Size five um, Bach nib. Uh, it's just a steel nib and then the grip section if you'll notice is also that kind of raw industrialized aluminum uh, looking there all right so um one of the problems that i can see with this oh this is just like a kind of tumbled raw type of a body i don't know it looks like a plastic body to me so I think it is, but could be wrong. A lot of, um, yeah, that's anodized, I think is what, I don't know, it's an anodized rubber, I'm not really sure. Since I bought it secondhand, not really positive, but it kind of feels, yeah, it's plastic, it's not metal. And then you just uh, can use a, any standard converter to that, or with that, I should say. And then, Let's put that back on. Okay, so what I noticed right off is that I actually hold the pen pretty high up here, and so I'm gripping it right on the on the threads here. So if you grip high like I do, it's a problem, but if you grip just a little bit lower, it's not. However, this grip section is really tight. It's very small, and I have small hands, so look, it's just... I mean, it's really small. So let's take a look at some of the measurements here. And let me, let me cap that here. So it is, I'm gonna put it here first. 
So it is right at 5.2, no, it's not 5.2, it's right at 5.1 um, capped. So I'm gonna show you with a Pilot Metropolitan. Let me bring that down, no, bring that, keep that there, there. Metropolitan is a bit longer, like five and a half. Um, the Omar, Opus Omar is quite a bit longer, almost to six, it's like 5.9. And then the Twisby, in fact, I'll put the Twisby next to it so that you can kind of see. So it's pretty short um, compared to those pens. And then let's uncap. And all right, so uncapped, it's pretty short, like four point eight looks like that's that's pretty small, and you cannot use this uh, posted, so it is a short pen. And if you are like me, I, I have no issues with it, but somebody with larger hands, that's gonna be a, a pretty significant difference because even the Metropolitan is a little bit longer at 4.9, almost five. So this one is, yeah, it's shorter. Uh, so if you can see that, uh, that's kind of a difference. Look at that, that shimmer ink in that, great for demonstrators. All right, so there's the sizing on that. And I wanted to also just real quick show you the nib. I guess it's about the same as a Metropolitan. So although that's a Bach nib and that is a Pilot nib. And on the nib, um, again, it's not, it doesn't have any kind of engraving or anything that is for uh, Kara's custom pens so it doesn't have any customized engraving just kind of standard and a of course plastic feed all right so um that's a little bit about the pen so now let's see how well it writes let me zoom in here i'm having issues with my camera today all right so let's see I don't know what kind of pen this is, but I think it's just their Fountain K. And right now they have the K version two. And so the original K was in 2016. So I'm just gonna write that 2016 version. I think that's what this is. And again, I don't have much more detail other than this is a medium from Kara's Custom because I did buy it used. So um there's a medium and it's a pretty kind of thick medium nib here and um first i thought maybe it's a stub but it is not so let's try this and this is the ink is Waterman Black. Okay, so that's on bad paper. And that was my dog shaking. Let's see. Are we out of focus again? So very wet writer, 
little to no line variation, so it's not a stub. It's just a medium. It's a very smooth rider, and that's because of the nib, but I don't know if you can tell, I'm really getting grooves in my in my hands from these, and it's literally right where I, I grip, so I'm gonna have to, again, practice kinda ease, like inching up on the nib itself and riding uh, down here with this one. Other than that, it actually writes really well, and I like that this is just a, a different pen that is made in the US and uh, if you like that minimalist kind of industrial look it's it's a pretty great pen for that and um, just a little aside I was on their website and you can actually purchase a another kind of a grip section and it will convert your fountain pen to rollerball why on earth would you want to do that? I don't know, but right now, it, as at the time of filming this, it's 30 bucks to do that. Um, I think the whole point of fountain pens is that you keep fountain pens because they're awesome. But uh, anyway, I don't know who would want to do that, but apparently there's people out there who would like to do that. So if you like this, check it out. It's Kara's Custom, and they did not pay for this. I purchased it myself from Tori at the pen club. So thank you again for selling me your um, unwanted children, Tori. And uh, I'm happy to adopt them for sure. So thank you so much and thanks for watching. And until the next time, bye.